All right, guys, welcome back. So this is a quick update for um, all those quantum names that we are talking about. So I'm going to go through the charts. Uh, this is a daily chart. Market is open. Stocks are trading. So at the moment, uh, OK, so D wave QBTS. This is the stock. I think top is in. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, pretty big pullback from its highs. Uh, and I think um, if the stock cracks, 25 I'm watching like 2650 with 25 I think it can go towards 20 and 16 this is the 200 day moving average it can make it uh, its way in a choppy way to the downside but if it has any meaningful upside move or pop I think it's a perfect short uh, and it's not a long nine and a half billion dollar company uh, at the moment QBTS at this price over 27 Rigetti making its way down so this was one of the ones uh, one of those that reported earnings late this stock is trading below its um 50 day moving average as well you can see this red line on my chart 200 day moving average so for um rigetti i'm watching 2850 uh and you can see like most of these stocks looking like like pretty uh pretty decent head and shoulders patterns so once it breaks these neckline i think it can go down much lower so today rigetti um it's down what five percent market is still open still trading so below that this is the breakout area that i'm going to be watching as a support 20 and then below i mean 1750 that's your another support so essentially from its highs uh rigetti as well somewhere around like 50 percent down 48 percent at the moment so one that looked pretty weak and hasn't reported earnings and is about to report earnings next week. And we all know like it's actually 14th. So it's like it's this week, Friday. We all know that like these companies are not, I mean, earnings is just baking in option activity. I mean, the premiums, but in reality, we know like they're, they're it's just nothing burger, right? Uh, so this is the weakest one because it trades below 200 day moving average right now so you can see red line on my chart 200 day moving average and this stock is at 1140 so six is the next target for me um i don't have position again on all, all of these names uh, i'm just uh, going through them and i have a bunch of alerts if i decide to pick any and just go in and out i can do so but so far i don't have any position so ion q another name pretty big pop from its 86 highs to 52 this stock is down 38 percent so this is the support area so it's been bouncing off of this level the 51 ish 50 yeah 51 if it cracks 51 uh, i'm going to be watching again for this name as well the 200 day moving average as a support so if i'm missing any other quantum name um yeah you can just let me know but these are the names uh that we were covering uh if you i mean i don't remember when we talked about this one but i'm pretty sure i was talking about it after it pulled back right there saying that it's not going to make it easy too short it will go down in a very choppy manner and this is what it has been happening and it wasn't favorable for uh like to buy puts in these levels because like when stock goes up and down up and down and it just day passes by it's just time decay kills a lot of premium and that's why i wasn't trading any of them so yeah i'll give them time uh, but again so far iv on of these um, all of them pretty much still pretty pretty expensive uh for my taste so but again these don't look bullish uh, for me at least uh, for now and if it has any pop I will be sell biased as well but again I don't have any position I'm not trading these stocks I'm not telling you to buy or sell this is purely for educational and entertainment purposes only thanks for watching see you in the next one peace